Hello there retro programming fans, uh, it's Sunday evening and I was bored today so I thought I would do some retro programming and today I decided to take up a project that I started a long time ago um, basically I found an article on the internet describing a, a old demonstration program that was written original for the Apple II and the basic in the Apple II and today I decided I finally do an implementation and modification of that original code and implement it in uh, the basic that comes with the Commodore 64 instead. So basically what this is is a very simple uh, kind of graphical demo. It doesn't use any graphics, it just uses the character and mapping them on the screen in different colors. Uh, but it also but it produces some really nice uh, output. Uh, I've tested this program on the real piece of hardware and in the end of this video I will show you some seconds uh, of this program running on the real hardware because that's where it really shines and looks quite good actually. So I will run this code and so you can see what it does. Um, it will actually produce some patterns on the screen uh, where the left part of the screen is always synchronized with the right part of the screen and uh, since this is basic you can see it takes some time to update the screen but that also adds to the effect um, I will rewrite this program in assembler uh, basically because uh, that will be a quite good tutorial for myself uh, I will probably add some uh, SID music to that uh, code also, so um, probably I will post that uh, some time in the future on here on my YouTube channel. Uh, but this will uh, produce some quite nice uh, patterns on your screen, especially if you look upon it from a couple of meters, it looks really nice. And. Uh, I will put the source code, uh, the basic source code here on YouTube on the YouTube channel. So for you who have an emulator or have the real piece of hardware, you have the chance to try this out for yourself. So I think I will stop here uh, in the emulator and I will show you about 15-20 seconds of the code running on the real piece of hardware instead. So you have something to compare with how this code looks like running on the real, real Commodore 64. Thank you for looking. 